Well, good day and welcome to the Gearbox Studio. Now, today, of course, we are in a studio, which means we have things like a desk and we have things like studio lights. Now, if you're out on location, a lot of the time your lighting doesn't look so much like this as perhaps more like this. Now, that's great because everyone looks good in the dark, but it makes it very hard to shoot video. So, Roscoe have come along with this. Now, this is a light pad vector CCT fixture. It's an eight inch by eight inch square. And as far as output goes, uh, we looked at the original light pad when they first came out, maybe five or six years ago. And we were pretty impressed with both the robustness and uh, also the, the beautiful soft and even light that the fixtures produce. It's a very indirect sort of light. Now, the original light pad came in a bunch of different sizes and two color temperatures. You could get it in 3000 Kelvin or daylight. And I think the largest size from memory was a 12 by 12 inch square. Now this is an eight by eight inch square and it has four times the output of the previous 12 by 12 inch. So it's a lot brighter to start with. Uh, power consumption is 65 watts at full tilt. And in a very nice move, Roscoe has designed a fixture that runs off a V-Lock battery, which is great. Something the broadcast industry has got right is uh, very few formats for things like power. You know, four pin XLRs and you've got V-Locks for batteries. A um, few other choices out there, but they're very common standards and very easy to find parts for. You're not locked into a proprietary system. On the back of the light pad vector CCT are two navigation wheels and they allow you to do things like adjust your intensity and you can either turn the wheel and adjust the intensity in 1% steps or you can click the wheel by pressing it in, similar to how you do on some comms packs actually, and jump in 10% increments from 100% down to zero. That's one wheel. Now the other wheel is very cool. You press the other wheel and that lets you change color temperature. Lightpad Vector CCT has two different color temperatures of LED inside and you can adjust anything from 3000 to 6000 degrees Kelvin and you can jump in 100 degree Kelvin steps. You can also again press that encoder wheel in and that allows you to jump through various presets. If you want to control the fixture remotely that's okay, because that's a thing too. Now I'm gonna put this back to 3000 because it's a little bit more like what we're expecting to see in the studio here. Uh, the LightPad Vector CCT has dual RJ45 connectors. Now that seems like a weird choice for DMX, but if you think about it, uh, if you're in a remote location, you're more likely to be able to pick up a Cat5 cable from the hardware store than you are, say, a five pin DMX XLR cable. Um, so yeah, it seems like a strange choice, but also if you look at the real estate on the back of the fixture, it's pretty tightly packed. So I'll let that one slide. I think it's actually a pretty clever move. Um, 65 watt power consumption at full tilt, uh, lots more output, uh, very compact fixture. It's available in a choice uh, of either just a single fixture or you can get a two head backpack kit or you can have a three head kit that comes with a hard carry case as well. So really, this is designed for people who wanna go out, deploy some fixtures on stands very quickly, light a scene or an interview perhaps. Obviously, this would be more effective if I had a couple of them, um, some three point lighting. It's very easy to get very nice results with the fixture very quickly. And on top of that, nice high CRI and CQS scores as well. Lightpad Vector CCT, new from Roscoe.